In today's game, we are going to discuss a game played between Yes Babar and Ismail Bhatt. Both are strong players from Lahore. And this game was played in French defense, advanced variation, and Milner Perry Gambit. We will also look at some of the opening lines, uh, the best move orders, and we will basically try to understand the strategic and positional ideas in the game. Let's start with the game. I just played Babar opted with e4. Smile butts up. Played the uh, played French defense. Six. D4, D5, E5, E5, C3, Knight C6, Knight F3. All these are standard moves. Queen B6, Bishop D3. And this is the start of the actually French defense advanced variation Milner Perry Gambit. When Black takes the pawn over here and White sacrifices the pawn. And we will see here. Here, the main mover uh, is obviously bishop d7. After that, castle c into d4. Instead of c into d4, here, there was another move which was uh, tried before, and that is knight h6, which has generated uh, two results. One is uh, win for white and second is loss for white let's see it that part does it uh, have to do in with the opening and that is knight h6 now d into c5 bishop into c5 and b4 hitting the bishop over here bishop goes back to e7 now let's understand this position. Black's bishop is here, but is it is not so active piece. This bishop is not doing anything. Black is going to castle over here, and rook is active. Rook can come in one move to active square over here. Whereas uh, if you see that white's two pieces are over here fully active. And two pieces are on the uh, three pieces are on their main scales actually. So this might be also be the variation which Black might have opted for, but he went for c into d4, <coughs> c into d4, and knight into d4, knight into d4, knight into d4. Here these are all standard moves being played many times by the players in the history of chess. Here white's main move is knight c3. Sorry. Black did a blunder over here and that was to take on this pawn. e5 pawn and actually this is a poison pawn. You can't take this pawn. It was better for black to develop here by playing the move to a6 it was better for him and there are around about uh, 31 games in the database out of which 23 games are won by white 19 are draw and 58 percent games are won by black over here so this position is favorable for black over here. Here the mistake uh, which uh, Ismail Batsab did was that he took the pawn on e5. And after the game, after taking this pawn, black's white's development was so fast, sharp and enormous that black was unable to hold the position find the most accurate moves if possible so let's see here queen into e5 is a dopey move as suggested by the computer also 
A6 was another option. Group E1 was another try uh, was the move by the white or knight e2 the main move queen into e5 bishop f4 queen f6 see every piece of white is developing with a threat and white's piece are so much active see they are covering everything Knight has future over here. It is controlling this. Rook on a1 is coming to c1 in just one move. This bishop is eyeing the b1 and h7 diagonal. Queen is coming to active square with threat in one move. And black pieces, three pieces are on their opening squares. Black can't castle over here. This bishop is doing nothing. And this queen is not eyeing something in the black strategy or eyeing some uh, doing some proper thing over here. So if the game continues like this, queen b3 was the move, then bishop c6 protecting this pawn over here. And bishop g3 bringing the bishop out of queen's danger bishop e7 rook a c1 now see that white species are completely developed back is black species are completely stuck over here so we come back to our game here the move queen into e5 was played after that white replied with rook e1 hitting this queen over here queen d6 knight d5 hitting the queen once again and queen b8 and this was actually a blunder by the black here the better try was queen b6 to hold the game over here after bishop e3 queen a5 you can't place the bishop over here, bishop to c5, after because bishop into c5, queen into c5. Again, white has a lot of threats over here. That is, rook is coming to c1 and this knight is going to give the check and this rook is going to fall over here on a8. So, after queen a5, bishop d2 and queen b6 and actually this is a draw. This is a draw for white. And he missed the draw. Black missed the draw over here. So once again, we see three. Queen b8 was played. Instead of it, it was better to play queen. Better to play queen b6 over here. After that, bishop e3, queen a5, bishop d2, queen b6, and both players were going to shake hands. But after this blunder. In this game, White did not make any type of mistake or blunder and he just went with the early development of his pieces on the best scares possible and he made this game so easy for White. Let's see it. Queen f3 was played by I.H. Pabarsa, Bishop d6. Knight into d6 check, queen into d6, bishop f4, and queen c5. Although white has an advantage of a full piece, full rook over here in this position, but instead of playing queen c5, queen e7 was a better try to try to hold the position till more moves. Bishop g3, f6, a running scare for king. Bishop d6, queen f7. Now, a running scare for queen. Rook a c1, knight e7, and rook c7. And one of the pieces are of black are going to fall. 
there is no way that black can hold any of these pieces. So we come back to our game where queen c5 was played and queen g3 controlling this diagonal completely and this square specially and hitting this pawn over here on g7 attacking this rook on h8 every move of white was played with some reason in his mind with a plan in his mind he played the whole opening with the plan he had the best understanding of the opening moves that's why every move is played in the opening basically we memorize the openings and that is a wrong thing never memorize the opening always try to understand that what is the reason that we play the move like bishop f1 to d3 why are we playing the moves rook e1 in the opening why it is being played what is the reason behind playing these type of moves what are the future prospects of these moves so after that queen f8 was played there was no better move than it but black's position is lost over here bishop d6 knight e7 rook ac1 bishop c6 trying to hold this file c file by playing this but black can't hold it because after b4 trying to hit this bishop on c6 by playing a4 and b5 a6 was trying right but uh, this is in vain actually because still white is going to play he move after b5 sacrificing his pawn no but it is not sacrificing his pawn because this pawn would be protected by this bishop on d3 and black had to give up this go back bishop to d7 and give up this c file to white instead of a6 rook d8 was better try b5 bishop e7 rook c7 f6 b6 a into b6 bishop b5 white can't take this bishop because rook takes this knight with check and after that black may lose this pawn on g7 and this rook on h8 also so queen f7 was played might be played and queen g4 this is a quiet move hitting this pawn on e6 over here a quiet move still black can't take this because of this check over here so we go back to our main game where a6 was played after that a4 h5 was played it was an ambitious move to try to hit the queen over here from this diagonal and protecting this bishop on d3 b5 was played and h4 was played and i h proper played the queen to queen e3 instead of it queen f4 was a better move it was more better than the move played in the game queen e3 but they both are the best moves actually after that a to b5 a to b5 and queen d7 here it was better to give up this bishop on c6 knight f was a good move over here hitting the queen white screen over here and a white is hitting the queen on of black over here this was a better try instead of playing this move bishop d7 after that the game becomes so easy for white that it does not requires any further comments but let's 
go through it briefly. Queen b6, rook d8, queen into b7, f6, keep g6 check. At last, Ismail but got fed up of the torture by the white and he agreed to give his queen away over here because after this the black queen is going to fall and this happened in the game knight into g6 bishop into f8 rook into f8 queen into d5 black can't take it because it is pinned to the rook on e1 bishop f4 sorry knight f4 queen d6 e5 rook c7 rook f7 e6 knight into e6 rook into d7 because this bishop protecting the knight on e6 so white took this bishop and after that took this knight on e6 rook into d7 rook dd7 queen into e6 check and rook f e7 and that was basically a blunder because there is the mate just one move and queen to g instead of here black would have tried to sustain the game for some further moves and that was queen f8 d7 rook d8 queen c8 and in this scenario also black has lost the game there is no way save this this was a very beautiful game played by ih power he was thoroughly well prepared in his opening and he understood all the reasons behind the moves of the white which were going to be played in the game he knew that why these moves are being played what is the reason behind playing these moves so whenever you study some type of opening try to understand the logic behind the moves that why these moves are played in this way you will don't have to memorize those openings so if you like my video kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon button thank you thank you very much